Hey, what's up guys? It's Eric here, and today we got some MOAB Monday gameplay. So this is episode 3 of the series, and uh, I know I haven't been uploading any of those videos recently, but uh, I mentioned it before and I'll mention it again. It was because I was in exam periods, and I didn't have much time to play. But uh, today I actually got this uh, gameplay here, and uh, I'm uploading right now. So uh, I was playing some uh, Ground War Domination on the map Fallen, and I uh, was using the Scar L with Silencer. Um, this class was actually requested by someone, um, and uh, he wanted me to use it, so uh, that's why I'm using it today. Now, uh, if you guys ever want me to use a, spe a spe specific class, um, just let me know, send me a message, or write me a comment on any of my, any of my videos, and uh, I'll probably uh, end up using it. Now, um, this week, all in all, I was uh, like messing around with a couple of guns. I uh, was trying out with this uh, Scar L, also uh, the MP7, the P90, and uh, a couple other guns, and um, I wasn't actually able to get it. Like, I always came close, and uh, I always died by like stupid shotguns or uh, FMG9, stuff like that, or Predator missiles, and uh, I really got mad. But uh, fortunately today I was actually able to uh, get a good gameplay, well it wasn't that great but I still got the MOAB and uh, later on I'll tell you guys what my strategy was because I was holding, an, I was holding down one area in particular to the map. Now um, you'll see me right here uh, soon when I die, I think right now. Um, I spawn up and I, I was just mad so <laughs> what I did was I looked up to the sky and I just kept on turning. And uh, I was I was about to quit honestly, and then I said to myself, well, might as well just finish the game and then leave afterwards, cause uh, it was gonna be my last game anyways. So um, good thing I didn't quit, cause uh, if if I would have quit, um, I wouldn't have had the Moab. So yeah, good thing I didn't quit. And uh, now we were losing Alpha, and good thing I looked at my map and saw the uh, A flag uh, flashing. So probably all you guys know that, that when the uh, flag flashes it means that you're losing it. So uh, what you should do uh, in that position, uh, you should just uh, try and run to the flag and uh, basically try to kill the guys who are capturing it. Now um, in this game I was uh, using the Scar L, as I said, with silencer to uh, basically not show up on the radar and uh, I wasn't actually playing with specialists. So uh, I was running the uh, assault point streak and uh, my kill streaks were the predator missile, um, the attack helicopter. If I sh yeah, the attack helicopter, and after that I had the pavlo. So uh, I said to myself, um, I in order to get the moab, I needed uh, to get two pavlos, and after that one more kill. So uh, my main objective was to get both of my pavlos, and after that um, get one more kill. And right there I just failed with my predator missile and uh, I mean it wasn't my day like honestly it wasn't my day so um, and good thing I got that knife because if I would have missed that knife because uh, usually I always miss knives I don't know if it's only me but when I knife um, I miss and then somehow the enemy turns around and knifes me and uh, I get mad so good thing I got that knife there and uh, yeah, so back to what I was saying, um, my main objective was to get two Pavlos and then one kill, and then that would mean I would have my Moab. So uh, I right now we have A and B, so I'm controlling this uh, middle of the middle area of the map, and uh, just n I'm not really trying to rush out to any point, because uh, right here again we're losing Alpha, so I'm kind of like protecting A and B at the same time, and uh, I was actually able to do a very good job of it. So uh, there was no point really of me rushing to C and trying to get more kills because uh, when you rush to C, um, especially in that uh, area here where there's the back building where snipers go, um, I mean it's a very open area and there's not much cover. So uh, there's my first play Pavlo by the way. And uh, there's not much cover so you're basically wide in the open and uh, you can just get shot at from every single angle. Now there's also a balcony there, there's like some stairs, there's like a big house in the back that you can just sit there and stay in prone and just hurt him where, uh, there, where I could come from. So uh, that's why I was staying uh, in this position here. Now uh, my main goal throughout this game was to protect the A flag. So I said to myself before uh, starting this game, if I was able to uh, capture, well not capture, but if I, if I was able to defend the A flag for the whole game, we would be able to win. 
Now, uh, I know it's kind of weird because usually it's the B it's the B flag that's like in the middle of the map and it is in this map also but now the A flag I find that when I play it's always the A flag that's changing cuz um, right right now uh, as soon as I say that we're losing Bravo so uh, it's not very good but anyways um, when I play uh, usually it's the A flag that continuously changes uh, between my team and the other team so I was trying to hold it down and uh, just protect it and uh, make my way through up my uh, kill streaks. So uh, and also I was able to uh, get in that building and since the enemy only had B and now they capture C when I say that like what is that? I just have bad luck today. So uh, since they had B I was able to sit in this building and wait for them to pop out this alleyway. Now uh, I almost I ran out of ammo there and uh, right here I thought I was gonna die the last end kid. I was like 100% sure there was a he had a shotgun like a striker and uh, he would have killed me with it because uh, it happened to me uh, like maybe two games before this one. So uh, good thing I didn't die there and uh, yeah. So my main goal as I said was to defend the A flag. So now there's only two ways the enemies can come from. Um, there's this alleyway right here in the building and then uh, there's also the other way um, more towards the middle of where I'm going right now so right here and then both of the places where I'm guarding I can head glitch something so that's pretty good now here I can head glitch this stone barrier and then on my second position I can also um, head glitch the tires so now um, the enemies can only see my head and I can see their whole bodies which uh, that means I have a bigger advantage on my enemies than uh, they have on me. So uh, that's my that was my basic uh, strategy toward, uh, in this game and uh, oh my god that was so close wasn't it? And uh, now oh my god thank god that guy was a noob because uh, he would have killed me if, um, uh, if he was a good player. Um, and also now I'm low ammo on everything. Um, kind of struggling right now and uh, thankfully I was able to get that kill and get some scavenger because uh, my main perk uh, was scavenger now I'll talk about my perks right now oh and right there I, I mean I guess I was lucky and unlucky at the same time um, I got I was able to get that kill and run away from the bullets and uh, survive so I'll just mention uh, my perks as I was saying so um, I was running a scavenger and then quick draw and uh, I think steady aim for my third perk uh, steady aim or dead silence really it doesn't make a difference but I'm pretty sure it was steady aim so uh, I know I'm like uh, not many kills away from uh, my um, my Moab uh, I know at the beginning of this video I said I only needed like two Pavlos and then uh, my my another kill for my Moab so uh, I kind of contradicted myself there because uh, when you use some kill streaks um, it counts as your point streak but it doesn't count towards your Moab kill streak so uh, I know I had my uh, Pavlo back there and I actually had more kills than that so uh, I kind of contradicted myself there and there you go I have the Moab 25 kills without dying with my gun only so uh, I guess it wasn't actually uh, two Pavlos and one um, one kill afterwards it was actually more than that because uh, my attack helicopter and my predator missile got some kills towards my kill streaks but not toward towards my Moab kill streaks so I hope you guys understand that I know it's quite like uh, quite a bit uh, confusing but uh, I hopefully I explained it well so anyways, this gameplay has come down to an end here. Uh, my Moab Monday series is back. I hope you guys enjoyed this commentary. And uh, I'm Selex V3. Come check me out. Peace out. Oh, and also, just before I forget, my final score was uh, 48 and 3, I think. I'm pretty sure it was that. Let's see when the game, uh, the game score pops out. And uh, also, my Moab kill, when I got the Moab on my last kill, um, I was actually uh, stealing a kill, a guy in last stand. So yeah, 44 and 3. Hope you guys liked the video. Peace out.